It's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm in Mama Dang with Moonchild. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's so? Um, what do you do here? Um, I'm a fashion designer and singer. Oh, cool. Mm, but I studied fashion designing. The singing is just a talent. Oh. Yeah. Are you so you are? Um, I know this is like mostly about the fashion designing, but mm. um, do you do like singing gigs or anything? Yeah, I do gig. Um, yeah, I, I gig. I get bookings and stuff. I've got some stuff on the net, um, so you can check it out on moonchildsa.co.za. Okay, cool. Um, um, so, uh, what's the name of your brand when with your fashion designing? Yeah. It's Moonchild Cultwear. Moonchild what? Cultwear. What's Cultwear? Like cult culture, fashion culture, Moonchild culture. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Moonchild Cultwear. Okay, cool. Because um, the, at, in in the beginning, it was it was mainly aimed at doing at um, focus. I mean, getting clients that are on, on stage, very dramatic, uh, um, very small group. So now it's had it's had to grow, and made to fit the average customer that one that is still inspired by just being unique. So it's like an injection of, I'd say it's an injection of fun and whimsical to any wardrobe. Okay, cool. Mm. Um, so what skills do you use when you're, I mean, wait, I just want to ask something first mm -hmm. for that. Um, so um, what kind of particular style do you like when you're making your clothes? My stuff is mainly inspired by being fun, by like having fun, because I have fun with a lot of it. Um, like I've got one of the dangry pieces. I don't know if you saw Janine wearing it. She was wearing a dangry that was leopard when you guys came oh, that yeah, time. That nice. Yes, that's like a classic cut. It's a dangry. It's always existed, but it's in leopard, which is also a classic print because animals will always exist. Mm -hmm. And but it's fun, and it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, so what skills do you need when you're um, being a fashion designer? Well. I know like from design school not everyone could draw so you because you get taught to just come up with your own character whether you draw fridge like figures but it's yours so which I guess it gets to the branding someone will be able to um, recognize who the designer is from just the type of the style they've created themselves with the illustration and you need to be creative and you get in school. You basically get taught the how to do patterns. You always have ideas and be creative, even if you're not a designer. You know what I mean? And have, yeah. yeah. So now it's how to get it into physical form. Um, so you get taught the process. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just sorry, a little. I'm, the same I'm way. just a little tired. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, um, what school skills like reading, writing, math? Maths with patterns because you have to calculate um, yeah it's the pattern work that needs mathematics okay. so if you can't count if you can't calculate you're gonna get wrong patterns which means you're gonna get wrong fit and your customers will have a fit mm. okay. um, so what tips would you give somebody who wanted to become a fashion designer um, getting the entrepreneur side sorted as well because just being creative and not being able to sell makes no sense because you're not you're never going to sell to anyone but trying to take your creativity and obviously with your market aim it at your market and make it yeah that okay. <laughs> well that was moonchild and go go media girl